Welcome to the Good News Radio broadcast. Hello, this is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Before Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. I was listening to one of my favorite preachers. He said, America shall be saved. I am setting my mind to agree with him. It looks like America is going down the tubes morally, financially, and economically. When you look at the signs of the times, it can get you down. But there is one thing that people as a whole do not consider. God can turn things around. God is a way maker. God is a healer. God is a deliverer. Our God saves. God does send judgment on nations. He does do that. But God is full of mercy. And he lets people know ahead of time. God's mercy endures forever. If you read the Bible, you will find that before God sent judgment upon a nation, he would send prophets and preachers to preach the mighty gospel to them. Nineveh was one such nation. Nineveh was wicked beyond your wildest imagination. I mean, their nation had got to such a point that they would sacrifice their children in the fire to their gods. The one true God, Jehovah, was fed up with their wickedness. He told them through Jonah, the preacher, repent, or in 40 days, God's judgment would come. Wonder of wonders, the nation as a whole repented, beginning from the king down to the lowliest of the low. God did not send judgment upon them because they repented. We must repent as a nation. We must repent as a church. I have been praying for revival for our nation. Please join with me in this prayer. God said that he would answer when two agree together. This is a good prayer. This is an appropriate prayer. This is a wise prayer. There is nothing wrong with this prayer. Pray to God every day for revival and he will send it. There are those who say that we are in the last days. And we are. One of the signs that we are in the last days is when Israel became a state in 1948. But God can still send us a mighty revival in order to spread the gospel to the whole wide world. God's desire is to save souls. That is God's deepest desire. He wants his creation to be saved from hell and the devil. Agree with me today. America shall be saved. I love to say to God, thank you for parting the Red Sea. God parted the Red Sea with a mighty puff of his mouth. The wind swept across the sea and parted it for the children of Israel. That allowed them to escape from their enemies. What a mighty miracle. And God can do that for us. He can part the Red Sea, so to speak. For America. God can do that for America. I believe that He will. He will make our nation prosperous again. He will allow us to send the gospel all around the world. We will be a nation that is set upon a hill as a great light to the world. We must jump out of the boat. We must have faith for the impossible. We must have faith together and believe that God has not forsaken us. There is still more than a remnant left in this nation. Our nation has stood up for the defenseless all over the world. Our nation is usually one of the first ones on the scene of any catastrophe in other countries. We have provided food and shelter and aid to other countries down through the years. God will not forget that. God will bring that back as a great harvest to our nation once again. That's how God is. God does not forget. God is honorable. He is full of mercy and justice and righteousness. We may forget, but God will not forget. America shall be saved. Our country is saturated with political correctness. That's not good. We need to stand up for what's right. 
You see what happens when we keep silent? We are swept along with whatever the devil wants. The righteous needs to be bold and speak up. Don't allow the devil to call the shots. Righteous ones stand up for what's right. I cry out for righteousness and justice in the streets. The Bible says that God's eyes run to and fro throughout the earth to show himself strong for those who are perfect towards him. Truth has fallen in the streets. That's why justice has fallen. That is the state of our nation in many instances right now. Ezekiel 22 and 30 says, God said, I search for a man to stand in the breach, to stand in the gap of the wall, standing before me so that I would not have to destroy the land. But I found no one. Let that not apply to us. I implore you, stand with me today. I say, I will stand in the gap. I will stand in the breach. How can I do this? Because God's Spirit lives on the inside of me. I have God's Spirit. I can stand in the gap. How can one person stand in the gap? God said he was just looking for one man. I think that also applies to a woman because God said there is no male or female in his eyes. In other words, one is not above the other. Just think how God can turn and heal our land if thousands turn to him in prayer. And man in this instance can be male or female. Man in the generic sense. God created man. America shall be saved. Agree with me on this and it shall be so. Recognize that we need righteousness and justice in the streets. We desperately need love in our country. We need power in our churches. People don't want to go to church because it's boring most of the time in many churches. Why does it get boring? Because the power of God is not operating in the services. A man began his ministry in obedience to God. His first service had 100 people there. Someone jumped up in the middle of the service and shouted, I've just been healed. The man's ministry grew exponentially after that. God's Holy Spirit was there. Dry and lifeless services do nothing for a sin-sick soul or for an unhealthy body. People won't want to go there. They don't want to sit through a dry service. Whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. God said that. Believe with me, America shall be saved. And now this concludes the message today. Again, this is Brenda Harris blessing you in Christ's name. May God's face shine upon you and show you his great favor.